You always start. <laughs> um, just impressions, late night coming up, impressions on what you've seen so far from the team. Do you like them, healthy, depth, everything? Uh, 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 one at a time. I like them. Uh, healthy so far. Uh, depth will be a challenge, especially if anybody gets nicked up, obviously. But uh, no, it's been, it's, it's been a good first, what are we been going about, 10 days? So, so it's been a good uh, a first bit. We've already taken four days off so far just to make sure we can get to the 12 without you know having to take days off when it gets closer to games when you don't feel comfortable doing so. But so uh, I don't think we're ahead of any any schedule by any means. But I do think that uh, uh, San Juan put us in a situation to uh, to at least be where we need to be at this point in time. But we need to start getting a lot of stuff in from this point forward. You mentioned the past conversations you had with people at the University of Texas, conversations you had with Archie Morris and his family. Just what was it about those conversations that made you confident in bringing him forward to the game? You know, I, I, I respect the question, but I've, I've already said I'm not talking about that. I, I've already made a comment, so okay. and, and that comment will stand. Uh, 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 definitely, uh, because it, 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 there's an ongoing deal going on, and I'm certainly not going to get into anything uh, uh, else other than what's already been stated. Did you shed any light? Maybe the same answer, but you shed any light on just the process of bringing him here before. Well, there was, you know, the, 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 it, it, it was obviously well better. So. You've got a pretty new roster, similar to a couple of years ago. Chemistry, do you like it? Does a trip to Puerto Rico help get guys closer? Uh, you know, I think that uh, uh, the chemistry has been good. I think that uh, uh, the summer certainly put us probably ahead since we have so many new faces, uh, uh, even though our core is still the same with Juan and KJ and Kev. But, but uh, I, I, I think, Dave, the, the, the chemistry is certainly uh, uh, one that I don't know that we're ahead of schedule, but they certainly seem to like playing with each other. KJ is still broad, his legs are big, he looks a little bit leaner. Was that important for him to go to the four to be able to move more against different guys? Uh, I, I, I think KJ can play anywhere you put him. So, so uh, I don't think his body has changed because uh, he's playing more on the perimeter. Uh, I think it's just a, a natural deal when, when you, uh, uh, I'll, I'll put it to you like this, he's, he's, got, he's got pretty good genetics when it comes to uh, his physical development because he seems to me, as you say, to be even look better even now than even last year. Last year he looked pretty good. So. How do you how do you tackle the, the depth issue? What 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 are things you can do to make it less of an issue? And, and can that start now? Does that have to be an in season? What 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 are you looking at there? Uh, you know, we've got ten. Ten is plenty. Uh, one probably will redshirt, so we got nine. And, I'm not going to play nine a lot of minutes anyway. You guys know that. So, so the it, it, it's the the practice stuff is fine from a depth standpoint because we got enough walk-ons. We got some good walk-ons. Uh, uh, so that doesn't really uh, bother me. What would bother me would be injuries, and I don't know how you prepare for that now. You know, uh, uh, I'm not really into load management at, at this juncture of the season. So, so. Uh, uh, what we could do is is be open to bringing somebody in at Christmas. You know, you could do that, and then you could add some depth on the perimeter, and, and, and could eliminate some of that. You know, if, if that's an option, which right now we're certainly looking at that. Are there players available? Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't sign somebody, just sign somebody. But yeah, there's there there, there could be uh, there could be guys available, especially international guys. Have you decided on Zach yet? Redshirt uh, or uh, I don't think Jamari uh, uh, will be a guy that we could look into doing that now. I think Zach uh, uh, still is. And, you know, I, the arrangement that, that we had with Zach uh, and, and what he wanted, I think, is very fair of what he requested. So unless something changes on the interior, uh, uh, I do see Jack, Zach uh, uh, still redshirting at this juncture. What do you think of the three-point game this year? Uh, well, I, 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 uh, I'm all for it. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I actually think that we probably shoot it better than what uh, than 
what uh, maybe it's been given or I've said that we shot it because I always say that that will be a concern that we have to address consistent perimeter shooting. So naturally that's what everybody will look to, which is true. But uh, uh, we've got, we got guys, Kevin's much improved, uh, Juan is much improved, uh, uh, you know, Nick and Johnny can really shoot the basketball, El Marco's improved, and I mean, so, so we got, and, and Hunter's probably as good a five-man shooter as there is in the country. So we, we, we've got some guys that can make shots, but the, 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 the consistency and the number that we, we would take, you know, it takes a, somebody makes 10 threes against you, that's, a, that, that, that's 15 twos you got to make to catch up. And so I don't really think that, that we're going to be uh, uh, negligent or whatever behind the arc. But I do believe that's going to be an area that we should always uh, uh, thrive to get better at because uh, I don't think we'll be a team that consistently makes, you know, 12 again. How has Perfy fit in? Is he overwhelmed or is he doing well or how's he doing? I think he's doing really well. He's, uh, you know, he's, he's he, even though he's young, he's still 18. So, you know, we've had, Steve was here when he was 16. So we've had younger here, but, but you know, just, just young in the way that we do things over here and, and those things. Uh, uh, but he's, he's very, very bright. He's got great feel. And physical strength will be the one thing that would probably hold him back a little bit, if anything, just because he's got a body like Ski, you know, and, and Ski early in his career, you know, could get knocked around a little bit. But uh, but Johnny is Johnny's going to be a really good player. Bill, I know you said referred back to the statement. The one question I had was, can you tell, uh, as you said in the statement, you guys suspended him when you learned the allegation. When did you learn of the allegation, and when did you suspend him? What date? Uh, you know, I've said all I'm going to say. You know, it, it, it's uh, you, you guys can. Can, can ask and, and, and your questions are fair. But, you know, I, I've, I've been, uh, I, I've, I've been instructed the, the correct way to handle this. And, 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 and uh, even though it, it may not please uh, uh, those that are asking the questions, but it, it's, it's, it's still the best way. And so uh, every, everything that's been said is, has been said. And so, so uh, and, and what was said was not much but until this is uh, completed, there's not much you can say. From a recruiting standpoint, Coach, I know this weekend is always big. Have you guys changed, maybe? I know years past you used to bring in a bunch of bodies. Um, maybe is this year a little bit different, maybe less bodies? Has that changed over time in terms of visitors? Uh, to, it's term of bringing in visitors? Yeah, yeah. You know, last year we brought in our, I think we brought in like, you know, 12 or 13 or whatever. And so the thing about it is not all ways do you guys know all the guys that we bring in. There's one or two that can sometimes sneak through the cracks. So, so the the, the, the NCAA limit, you know, it, it it varies over time. I think it's, you know, because of COVID, it, it went to like 35 over two years. Now it's back to 28 over two years. And there's proposal to change that to maybe make it a higher number uh, uh, now and everything. But we'll get right up against that number. What we won't do probably is bring as many in early because you may want to say something for the win. You had those extra practices ahead of court where you just, I mean, you had to shorten the weekend as a result. Just how do you see the, the benefits of those extra practices still being worn out as the season goes on? Well, the, the biggest thing is, I would say, would be getting an idea on how uh, we want to play. So, so uh, uh, I think they have a better idea, you know, simple concepts, conceptually. Of, of, of how we want to play, so I think that the extra team practices were really were really good for us. Uh, as far as now, now we still got to get into, you know, how we're going to defend, how we're going to do some some different things that we didn't talk about at all this summer. Like I didn't bring up defense one time this summer in practice. I talked talked about the games, of course. That were always works when you never practice it, but you try it in games. Uh, uh, so. Uh, you know, we'll get better in those areas, I think, quickly, but we got to spend a lot of time on defense. How important is a sellout, so to speak, at late night? You know, I don't, full house, whatever you want. Yeah, I don't know exactly. You guys probably know better, because I was told that they gave people an opportunity to get their tickets or reserved a spot for them, and I was told that filled up immediately. Is that, am, am I accurate on that? 
So, so what that means now, the people that reserve the spots need to show up because in the past, you know, it didn't matter if you reserve the spots or not. There were people that through general admission that would be there to fill those spots if seats were available. So, so I'm sure that will discourage people from, from thinking they can just show up and get in. Uh, 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 and that may be the intent of it. I'm not really for sure, but it is important. Uh, it's important to our guys because our guys take great pride. It's a great way to tip off the season, and, and uh, it's become something that's that's been so good for so long. And you don't want to have something that's been so good or so long not be as good because of the, the technicality and how you allow people in not because of an interest level. So, so I'm believing it's going to be great. I, I know the show will be great. It'll be a fun night for everybody. We've got, we've got new lighting and new sound systems. So, you know, at least when Flo Rida plays at the end of the evening, we should be able to recognize a couple of words. Because in my mind, the sound system hasn't been that great that when uh, I, I didn't even recognize all of Snoop Dogg's uh, songs at that particular night. Was that one of Larry Brown's greatest accomplishments, bringing late? No, I think Larry Brown winning the national championship. <laughs> I, I still ranks. I, I still think that ranks higher. Recruiting Danny and winning the national championship probably ranked higher than late. Can you get a bust of move out there, Coach? Because they're talking about Kevin was saying, guys got a, a dance routine. Are you going to be out there dancing with him? Uh, that would be negative. Uh, 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 <laughs> Uh, that would be no, and you can take that, and I won't have any more comment on that either, because that's not happening. Anything else? Thanks, Coach.